Hello. Uh, the other day I posted a YouTube birthday video, and uh, when I got to the editing process, it actually turned into a real pain in the ass. Um, you might notice it's got a really strong um, teal and orange kind of look going on there, which I normally don't like to put in post. I actually, inter uh, I actually introduced that through the lighting as I'm filming, but my current setup kind of goes overboard. Uh, let me just quickly describe what I have for you. So I use this as a key light. Uh, it's just a bunch of warm, ultra-bright LEDs and oh, awesome lens flare. All right, and then I have these little platforms that I've made. Just a piece of wood, really simple base, and it's got one strip of cool LEDs running down one side and warm white LEDs running down the other. Now when I made this, I thought I thought that the warm would emulate the color of tungsten and the cool would emulate the color of bright daylight. The warm is really more of an amber. It doesn't, um, I don't know, just it gives really poor color rendering and just makes everything look ridiculous. I figured to balance things out, I really need a blend, not one or the other. So I'm going to be using these things, which are great. It's just a spool of LEDs. It has a cut point every two inches or so. You can buy them in cool white or warm white. You can actually tell the difference between the warm and cool without turning them on. So it's nice that you can easily tell them apart while you're working. Rather than anything too elaborate or fancy, I'm just gonna stick two cool whites in between the space here and the space here. And hopefully it'll balance out my face to look a little better than this. Right now the camera's set to tungsten white balance, so you can see this looks pretty blue, but that still looks pretty damn yellow. And if I go through any of the other defaults, like sunlight, or flash, or cloudy day, or spotlight, um, right now this is 25k. Even when I have it set to 25k, and I've gone into the advanced options and turn the green all the way down, that still looks yellow. Well, it is possible to fight through the settings and eventually find something that kind of almost works. I'd rather not have to rely on settings or fixing it in post. I want to just get the light to mix right so it just looks nice by camera, so I can just leave it on auto white balance and who cares, it, the camera does its thing. You're much better off just having good even light than you are trying to boost some signals and then cutting others to make it look right. So uh, just Get it, get it right from the start. Don't rely on technology to fix it later or during. What I like about these strips is they have the very easy solder points included and they have resistors all built in. So you don't have to do any math or any real thinking. You just, you just connect it to a 12 volt power supply and call it a day. It just works, simple. Doesn't matter, it can go straight to a car battery, which is probably what the, these are intended for, or a power supply like a wall wart, like an old laptop brick or a phone charger. And it's got sticky stuff in the back. Uh, don't trust it, it'll melt off after a few hours and just kind of peel off whatever. Uh, luckily, my board is constructed out of just flimsy masonite, which you can use a staple gun to hammer staples into pretty easily. So uh, it's not too much of a challenge to um, attach these. And it's really just a five minute job. It's not even really worth making a video about. It's just pretty much soldering ground to ground and then power to power and uh, that's it pretty much. There it is, the completed light. You just put white balance to auto, it's still nice and warm. So this is straight out of the camera without any changes happening in post, just on auto white balance. And this is what I looked like uh, my last video without anything done in post. And now this is how I look with the new light, uh, with some color correction, and the old footage with some color correction. Well, um, since I'm recording this before putting the footage on my computer and actually editing, I can't tell you the result, but um, you can just read the text that's superimposed under my face to let me know, to let you know how it worked. So, yep, that's my conclusion. It's a definite answer. All right. See you.